people who say give me a baby before i marry you to prove that you are capable okay so this one is just proving to you that he will be marrying you for the wrong reasons once you start having issues in the marriage he is going to bed you won't know whether he is marrying you because he loves you or because you are with child what will happen if you lose a child and struggle to conceive again what now you do not need to prove yourself to be something you are not in order for someone to love you love becomes toxic when it has conditions why did you get married why do you want to get married a person who runs to other people for advice every time you have a misunderstanding you need to learn to communicate first as a couple before you involve other people a relationship is based on two people not three even people who are in a polygamous marriage the relationship is between the husband and that specific wife not wives i repeat most relationships and marriages end because of friends and family's interferences a person who packs her bags and leave every time you have a disagreement or one who chases you out of the house. It's a red flag. Even when you are married, they will act the same way. Every time you pack your bags, you are actually creating space for third parties to participate in your relationship. What makes you think that you can solve the problem apart that which you couldn't solve well together? A person who dumps you or threatens to leave you every time you find. Even if they do not mean it, it doesn't sit well with the other partner so refrain from doing it because one day your partner might take it literally and walk away and never come back moto a buang le wena o ka re o fologa sthlare a person who disrespects you either behind closed doors or around people the fact is it will mentally affect you regardless of whether it's done behind closed doors or in front of people so partners please refrain from disrespecting your partners learn to respect one another Cheating. But um, cheating is the ultimate red flag. Walk away. You guys are not married yet. There is no vow that you have to respect. If you forgive your partner for cheating in a relationship, some might take it as a sign of weakness and continue doing it even in marriage. It is easier to leave a relationship than it is when you are married. There is a lot of technicalities when you are married. But hey, Le phalo ke married women anyway. They do not settle for nonsense anymore. Ga re tswa re thipa ka bogaleng. Oh hell no. Choose you first. Please go and watch my cheating videos on YouTube. Violent. A person who will physically attack you or break things when they are angry. They need to attend anger management classes coupled with some community service cuz now this person might be a convict. Do not allow anyone to put their hands on you. Nothing in this world can excuse that behavior. It will start with a slap and end in a coffin. The thing is, physical abuse can become addictive to both the abuser and the abused. Please go and watch my previous videos on YouTube. A person who talks bad about the opposite gender. For example, women who talk bad about men and men who talk bad about women. If he keeps on saying women are sluts, what makes you think he feels differently about you? Just because you are sleeping with him doesn't make you special. This is so true because men do not have sex for emotional reasons. For them it is purely physical. There are people who are in this world solely to work on projects and then move on to the next one once they are done with it. You are a project to them. they are here to amend or fix you then once you have reached a certain percentage they will get bored so a person who is going to constantly try and change you is a red flag nobody changes anyone you choose to change once there is nothing else to change they will move on to the next one their main focus is on the project at hand and nothing else a person who speaks to their exes regularly especially if they do not share children babu agai walking down memory lane for what an ex is an ex no friendship bullshit nah there's too many people in this world create a new new friendships if they pretend to be friends then just know that one of them is still holding on to the hope of them getting back together i know that women are very patient in this regard their ex would even opt to be the side chick i mean how low can you go Oh, I'm going to be persecuted for this one. But here goes. 
this one is mainly for women because you are the only person who has control over child's back. A guy just provides his sperm. You can use contraceptives. You can take a morning after pill. You can have an abortion. Hell, you can even insert a female condom. I bet there are some of you who have never seen a female condom. How disappointing if you are in my generation and you've never seen a female condom. epidemic. That's why we were not scared by COVID. We've seen a lot. Do you remember? My generation. Anyway, a woman who has more than two children with different fathers has never been married and the fathers are still alive, she don't learn from her mistakes. Don't get me wrong, the product is not a mistake. The process of production is the one that is flawed. This woman will be getting pregnant soon for you without your knowledge or consent. And then when you are not part of the child's life, she's going to turn around and call you a deadbeat father and trash. While we are still on that note, some of you will persecute me by saying that it is better to have the children than to have an abortion because they are not killing anyone. Obviously that is for religious reasons, right? Right. So your religiousness has conditions or you are only religious when it suits you. The Bible says sex before marriage is a sin. Why are you having sex before marriage? Oh, so you ask for forgiveness just because you can be forgiven 70 times, 7 times. Oh well, the Bible also says that no sin is greater than another in God's eyes. So you having sex before marriage and the aborter are in the same WhatsApp group. A person who starts talking about having children and marriage before you discuss your dreams, goals, finances, health, re religion, and more um, is a red flag. Try and know what I want before I commit myself to others. Let's see if you can tolerate my goals and if they fit into your plans before we commit to the irreversible. Relationships and marriage is not just about children. It's my life that I'm actually bringing into the marriage. I still need to live that life. Therefore, all discussions have to revolve around what my plans are and what my partner's plans are, not just about the third things that we're bringing into the relationship. We still need to learn to love one another before we learn to love another person. If our relationship is weak, no amount of children or marriage is going to strengthen it because you have now added external pressure inside that little box of yours and eventually that box won't be able to handle the pressure anymore and then it will explode then that is the end of your relationship that's why most of the time when people have children after a couple of months they separate because they don't know how to love each other and one of the partners might actually start giving too much attention to the baby and forget about the partner. You're forgetting that what brought you together is not the baby, but your relationship, your love for one another.